Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your friendly neighborhood Dragon Slayer presenting to you another commentary. And I think I may have worked out most of the bugs in my system. And uh, I've been a bit busy since my last upload. I know someone told me to keep uploading, so wherever you are, thank you. But uh, yeah, it's been a busy couple of months for me. So today we're going to be watching a game with myself, RU12, which some days I feel like, and TSA Boomer. Let's just say there are some interesting moments. Yes, this is a long battle, but I believe that you will enjoy this nonetheless. So sit back, relax, and have a coffee. The beginning of this match is actually an interesting display of how Mines plays. We thought, since you know we have two tier eight heavies, you know, they would have two tier eight heavies. I didn't check the, the, the list. I may have been mistaken and i will let you know that during the replay i took control of the camera because i like to spin and look around the map while i'm playing and i know it bothers people and yes that time when i was playing the game i right clicked zoomed in fired to make sure that the reticle was on him i didn't entirely i don't have any mods or anything um, right now I'm aiming for the Brask on the hill. I'm trying to keep... And you guys, I want to show you what this looks like. Because the the battle in the middle is developing rather quickly. Um, and the battle around the map actually devolves rather fast. Um, I, I want to let you know placement of all the tier 8s. Because those are going to be important. Where they die at. The VK on the 8 line. A little too far. No TD help. He's probably going to die soon. RU12 is on the 1 line. The other tier 8s are here with me in the middle. And my will to live just dropped by 50% with that one artillery hit. Granted, that was completely my fault. Um, later on, we'll kind of realize where he is based on that one shot. So he kind of gave himself away. If I would have been thinking about it, I would have known where he was at. Um, but my will to live is, is steadily decreasing throughout this battle. And so I finally get to the point where I say, Screw it. And at that point, I think is when we change the look. So I blew the map up a little bit for you there. Just keep an eye on it. It's rather interesting how this develops. Most of their tier 8s um, stick around this area. Um, I think I end up fighting all of them or most of them. I don't think I end up fighting one of the tier 8s. But I'm about to go fight a Brask, a Basante and an ELC. So if I don't fight one of them, you know, forgive me. I'm, I'm clearly not trying hard enough. So one more tank. One more tank dies, and then I give up on life. I, I basically just say we've lost. GG. It's over. There's just no way we're going to win this. And you already see, I've loaded an HE shell in preparation. It's go time, boys. Well, not just yet. I actually back off in a second. But in a minute, it'll be go time. Or is it now? Okay, I must have miscounted. So here we are. What's the best thing to hit an ELC with? A big old HE shell. Watch this. Watch what. Ooh. Oh, 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 no, no, no. Not in my house, son. And then he didn't shoot me. And he's not shooting me. He's like, oh, he's reloading. And he's got a long freaking reload time. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Mr. Barras, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no. You ain't getting away. That that could have gone one way or another based on me auto even him, but I was I was doing multiple things at the same time. I don't know who shot him, probably the T25, but that was freaking hilarious. I've recorded this my second time. My first time, I think I laughed for a good 30 seconds. I mean, when I did it in game, I just, I was dying laughing. But even in the second watch, it was funny as all get up. What happens? WZ walks up on top of the hill, kills two tanks, and takes almost no damage. That seems fair, right? I mean, no, no, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. Bye, Felicia. Ah. If he would have killed someone before I, before he died, I'd have been a little upset. So, so 
game's developed a little bit more, so let's revisit the mini-map and determine how this game has developed over the last five minutes. They have pretty wholesomely won the 8-9 line. The only thing preventing them from pushing now is the fact that we control the hill, and if they try and push up and across the sea line at this exact moment, we'll have shots from the hill. They've, control they've taken the one line, and they're about to exploit some of that power. Now, look at this Basante. Like, this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Look at this dude. Oh, no, no, no. This dude just got his Basante out of his box, like, today or yesterday. And I'm like, he is just gifting. Like, he could have murked me on the way up the hill. Just, bam. But, you know. Oh. Ooh. Right into the front sprocket. But that's, that, that, like, I just got the Visante, the GSOR, and the ISUK. I already had the brass. So he got a tier 8 tank. I don't know how much he paid. But it didn't do him any good. And I'm in a tech tree tank. Not many of the tier 8s in this battle were tech tree tanks. That is an interesting development that has, has been happening that I've realized recently is there aren't that many tanks anymore that are tech tree. It's all premium tanks. It's like, ugh. But as you can see up here, I'm just kind of bouncing around up top. We've lost, and that's an important death, I'll explain it. We've lost the majority of map control at this point. We're in about a, a third of the map. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh! Ha. I wanted to make sure. Alright, the reason I, I knew I was safe to shoot there, the S51, I'm going to ping it on the map in a second, is on the 1 to the 3 line. He's somewhere over there. Because the way he hit that S, that 112, he couldn't be head on or he couldn't be on the 89 where the shell landed. So he has to be out that way. Now, he could be close to the 3 line or whatever. We'll see him later this game. But. It's important to, that I know that, is now I can take up positions around the hill up here, since there's only one artillery left. You know, there's someone else we haven't seen recently. Or even at all right now. It's kind of disturbing. We have not seen that other AMX tank. That AMX-13, you know, the, the little brother of the 90. The annoying little one. I wonder where he could be. Well, isn't that odd? They get an AFK player. Like, I'm asking the artillery to shoot him, because I really don't... I wish I had an HE shell at this point. I could have really wrecked this guy's day. But I'm like, okay, I need the Artie to one-shot him for me. Come on, Artie, shoot him. He's sitting still. Are you kidding me? He's not moving, bro! How hard is that to shoot a guy who's not moving? But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to accept this... Uh, this gift of a stunned AMX. And, and interesting, interesting thing. I get lit, and there's a shot. There is somebody in the back rocks back there. And watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you don't get to run. You don't get to run. No, no, no. No, no. Ah, what the? Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Did he just... He... He... Do you see that? What the... I understand that my lower plate is glass. Like, glass has more armor thickness than the, the bottom of my... Or resilience to getting hit than my lower plate. But are you kidding me? At that kind of an angle, you know, he, he, he must have high roll his pin hit. I mean, 175 pin to my lower plate in a, a steep angle. Granted, this thing is supposed to is like a, a quote unquote air quotes are hard. An assault tank destroyer. Granted, I like the tier six and seven better. I love the tier six. Love the tier seven. Six was better. Six was my favorite so far. Seven was pretty good. I think I played tier 5 a little bit just to check it out. But, uh, yeah, I, I see these guys, and I'm like, okay, well, uh, I give my hand. Tank destroyers looked like they had it in hand until I realized a 
T71 got up and underneath both of them. And our T29, this guy's, I mean, pretty decent. He's pretty good. But, like, seriously? I did think about for a second exiting the hill. As you saw me kind of overcommit. Oh, no, 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 dude. No, no, no. Yeah. So, uh, in case you don't know, the 271 CMD um, has the clip. I don't think the DA does. Like, I'm confused. Those two can get together. I'm just used to the old one where the Bulldog had a clip. Glorious 10 round. The T71 had a 6 round magazine. I thought the IS would be sneaking up behind me as well. Alrighty, people. Sorry if there's a little cut, I had to jump up and go do something. It's, uh, it's hard to record for 10 straight minutes and uh, have something going on in the house. So here we are, wrapping up a little bit into this battle. We've only got uh, three left alive now. Finally, a fair fight. And you know what they say about fair fights, right? They're for suckers. So, we're about to uh, participate in the last little exchange. This is this this befuddled me. Um, why this T29 is. Watch the T29. This dude, this dude, is going to go around the entire freaking map. He's going to cut across the BC line straight down the two line and then all the way towards the nine line at the end of the game so he's basically out of the fight um t25-2 that's my man he's doing it right uh oh my spider sense is tingling i feel a coward trying to drown themselves <gasps> china man to the rescue there he is dirty cowardly artillery is trying to Trying to drown himself. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Oh. Oh. S51, if you were just a bit skinnier, you know, maybe in your Wheaties or whatever, I wouldn't hit you in the superstructure. Like, legit, you watch that shell go and it's like it's going to the back of you. I'm using my armor. Like, surprise. What a concept, right? I'm using my armor in here to um, look for an look for them. I'm used, just kind of throwing myself out there. Just giving them my superstructure. I know neither one of them have the pen, even in their gold rounds, to punch my superstructure on an angle like that. That would have been difficult to begin with. And I make a screw up here. I get hit by the T25 on my way in. Um, I'm, I'm just trying to get up and underneath their guns, and I over... I thought he pinned me. I over over angled or overexposed myself um, I was thinking about going up the front on the, on the approach I quickly realized that that wasn't the best idea then you see me and this IS kind of goofing around and, and trying to trying to get an angle on each other and these guys screwed up a bit by not having supporting arcs of fire and being too close together so that they couldn't try and support one another when we pushed in and you see me in this IS plane all around. They finally retreat into a corner when they see the T25-2 approach. So here's my 200 IQ play. My second one for the game. I'm going to flank them. Well, don't laugh. That's like super high IQ play in World of Tanks. Most of the time, people just charge headlong into an enemy and just like, my armor shall protect me. Not against the two key, son. I, I haven't found it. I haven't found a thickness yet that can protect against a red player pressing the two key. So as we as we wrap this up, this is the first time I've gotten nine kills in at least ten or twenty thousand battles. Oh, there's one. Well, there's eight. There's the dude. He finally loaded his gold shell. He, he should have aimed better. All right, his son. Hello. Goodbye. This has been your friendly neighborhood dragon slayer, presenting to you.